Could you tell us a bit about yourselves and what you do? You go. <laughs> uh, my name's Eve. Uh, I'm an actor. Um, I'm doing Shakespeare in Love right now, playing Viola. Uh, I'm from London. Uh, live in London. And that's me. I'm Orlando. I'm playing Shakespeare in Shakespeare in Love. And uh, I'm not from London. I'm from East Sussex originally, but I've been here for about 10 years. So I'm a Londoner now, I guess, adopted. And um, yeah, I'm an actor. <laughs> What's your favourite part of what you do? Mm, me uh, I I'm working with people, working with lots of different people. And I guess the great thing about theatre is, is the way in which you meet a group of people and you immediately have to really get to know each other quite well and you do get to know each other quite intensely. And then it's kind of, it's very up and down when you then move on and all that kind of thing. But I would say, yeah, working day to day with, with great people and, and um, yeah, sharing that with audiences, I guess, is really rewarding. Good answer. I'll think of a different one. Uh, um, I think I, I, I really like being an actor. You, you get to um, read so many different stories all the time. Um, and also, I'm quite dyslexic, so reading books I find quite hard, but plays are usually shorter, <laughs> so it's like a quicker story. <laughs> uh, so that's good. Um, and same with, you know, also you just get to read lots of stories and find out lots of things about different worlds, and uh, so yeah, you just get to pretend a lot to be someone else, <laughs> which is fun. That's a good answer. When was the first moment you fell in love with theatre? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I've always, I've always been really well. When I was a kid, I was a massive show off, and I think <laughs> finding an outlet for that was quite an important thing. I would have to say, actually, as weird as it sounds, my older sister um, was always into acting, and she's now a director, and. Um, I always looked up to her when I was a kid. I was like, I want to do that. And so we sort of went into it together, really. And she was always just really inspiring. And now we kind of had this great relationship that sparked off when we were just kids messing around, I think. Um, I, I got into dancing when I was really little. Just I was given the option of doing like karate or tap dancing on like a Wednesday evening, so I chose tap dancing. Oh, hindsight, <laughs> should have done karate. Yeah, um, and I got obsessed with like all those old musicals, like Singing in the Rain and Silk Stocking. And, um, but then I remember I was about, so I was dancing a lot, um, but my mum wasn't really into dance, so she'd always take me to the theatre. Um, and then I saw The Crucible when I was about 15. And I remember going like, whoa, like that was amazing. And just being like, I'll be an actor instead. <laughs> so, yeah. What advice would you give your younger self? Well, a piece of advice that I give myself all the time, so I guess this way, is like, don't censor yourself. I think I had spent a lot of time when I was younger working out what people thought about me, what people wanted me to do and be. And um, I wasted a lot of time, I think, kind of trying to fulfill other people's idea of, of what I was doing. And so I think just like don't sense yourself and be open to opportunities. I think I'd say um, work hard, uh, just, and, and I don't know, like just work hard, man, and trust that that will pay off. And and also, um, take yeah take from everyone around you, work hard in lots of different ways, um, but don't you don't need to show the work. Like I know when I was younger, mm. when I first went to drama school or whatever, I'd do all the work, but wouldn't really take it in, any of it in. It was just to prove that I'd worked hard, and I think that's pointless. And so yeah, trust yourself. Trust yourself when you know you've done enough. And do karate. And do karate instead of tap dancing. And finally, if your life were a musical, what would the grand finale number be? 
please. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> my if I if my life were a musical, the grand finale number would be. It would be, you know, the opening number of all that jazz, the Bob Fosse film, when they're like auditioning. <laughs> it would be that, or maybe it would be the end scene in that when he dies. Maybe it would just be that whole film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'd be Bob Fosse. <laughs> yeah. Mine would be a kind of weird crossover between a massive Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers dance off and the style of like Fellini. So crazy cuckoo Italian expressionism. Wow. But with tap dancing. But with tap dancing. Yeah. And pizza. Yeah. Great. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.